So what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Amber J. I just want to jump on here really quick and give someone some encouragement real quick. Um, for whoever this is for, you have crossed over a particular area in your life, but you're really not seeing the fruit. You're kind of like, okay, I know I ain't where I used to be, but why ain't where I'm supposed to be? Like, what's this little, little funny little hallway I'm in? So look, I just want to help you guys real quick. And I just want to say this for the record. I am not a numbers person. Like, you know, you can watch some people know, I mean, channels and they'll be like, you see this number, if you see that number, that's not how God speaks to me. But this day in particular, and I know it's God because this was just so out of the ordinary. Um, I was driving to work. And he had me look at this license plate. And the numbers on the license plate were um, 7188, 7188. And I'm like, God, you know, 718, okay, help me out, you know. And um, the Holy Spirit, he said, what's in between the 7 and the 8? Now, although I am not a numbers person, I do know, you know, just have a little bit of biblical knowledge about what numbers can represent. Um Seven is the number of completion. Eight is the number of new beginning. So it was seven, one, one, eight. So in between a seven and an eight was 18, which is the number of bondage. Let me tell you something. If you have recently come out of something in your life, like you know God has delivered you from something, but you ain't necessarily in your uh, glory land just yet, you ain't necessarily in uh, your promised land, it's because there's some bondages that have to be broken off, okay? So God was ministering to me through that license plate. And as stated before, I'm not a numbers person. This is all the Holy Spirit. Anything that I do come directly from God. Like literally, like I just want to be a vessel. Not be perfect, just be a vessel. But um, as stated before, whoever this is for, if you're not seeing um, the fruit just yet, or if you're not... Um, there just yet or where you want it to be, you know good and well, you've made some changes. You've cut off some things in your life. Let me tell you something. Go and into your prayer closet, go into your quiet place and you have a conversation. God said, God, what are some bondages that have to be broken up that are not supposed to come with me to this new land, to this new promised land, to this new place? Go to God with that because 18 is the number of bondage. OK, so there's some bondage that has to be broken up that cannot come with you. We already know in order to elevate, you got to do what? Eliminate. OK, so look, I just wanted to encourage you guys really, really, really quick on here. Um, Don't get discouraged. Definitely don't go back and oh, don't think that God didn't do no work in you, that the devil is a lie. God, man, God has been waiting on you to answer the call. God has literally been waiting on you to answer the call like he's been waiting on you. So now that you have jumped over that pit, now that you've gotten out of that pit, now that you have uh gotten out of that filth, that funk, God is like, OK, before we take you over to this next part, here's what you have to do that I don't have the answer for, but that's what you're going to, you are going to find in your prayer. So look, whoever this word is for, I pray that it reaches you. I pray that you guys have a great, beautiful, blessed day. If you felt led to sow, go ahead on and sow. If you don't want to, I still pray this is a uh, word be a blessing to you. You guys be blessed. We are in 2023. It's a crossover. I think that this is going to be a great year for a lot of people. Have a great day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.